hi guys so I'm going to start a new course of SQL and PLSQL for that uh, in this video we'll see what are the things that we need to install or to, to use or to work with SQL and PLSQL so first thing first first of all we need Oracle database so we'll download Oracle database 19c so how to download Oracle database 90c so in your Chrome browser type Oracle database download so then go to the first link and you will find that Oracle database 19c is there so so download Microsoft Windows X64 64-bit version you can see download you have to download this zip file so I'm downloading this zip file so after that you need to uh, log in to your Oracle account if you don't have any Oracle account then you have to create your account and after creating our account or after login into your account you can download the oracle database 19c so i have already downloaded it so that is in my downloaded folder you can see that this is my oracle database 19c that i have downloaded so then uh, what are the things you need to do you need to extract it and install it okay so for that firstly you need to uh, create a folder so I'm going to my local disk C drive uh, so I have already created a folder you have to create this folder like Oracle 19 C and under the Oracle 19 C you have to create another folder DB home okay and under that DB home you need to extract uh, the entire uh, oracle database 19c so how to do that so the file that you have downloaded just right click on the file and click on this extract files and then we have to navigate to the path so this is my oracle 19c and under Oracle 90 c you have DB home folder you can see so in this DB home folder you need to just extract this Oracle database 19 c so you have to just click on OK so I have already done this and after doing this you can see if you go to your Oracle 19 c then DB home so you can find uh, all the files that I have extracted okay so uh, in the below section you will find a setup you just need to click on the setup and after clicking this setup uh, the setup window will be appeared and from this window you need uh, you need to install your Oracle database 19c just wait for some time so just follow these steps here you can see that our two options are there create and configure single instant database or set up software only so I'll choose the first option create and configure a single instant database click on next here just choose the desktop class click on next here you have uh, so many option use use virtual account existing windows user create new windows user use windows built-in account so i'll choose the last option use windows built-in account click on next click on yes it is taking some time yes so uh in this skin you need to choose the uh like the location where you you want to install your 
oracle database 19 c so we have you as you know that we have already created a folder oracle 19 c so under this folder so you if if the folder is not there you just need to choose this folder oracle 19 c and uh, then you need to choose your password so password can be choose you can choose any password but you need to remember that password uh, then click on next so actually i have already installed uh, oracle database 9 issue that's why i'm getting some error so uh, here in this in this section in this uh, you will not get any error but uh, i'm getting some errors so i'll i'll change this global database name so click on next okay uh i think you do one thing you need to choose this as oracle 19 c okay so this your oracle base this will be oracle uh, 19 c you can see now you can continue so if you click this uh, your your oracle database 19 c will be uh, installed but i i am now i'll now cancel because i have already installed it so i'll i'll uh, not install what you need to do you just need to click on this install option if you if you click on this install option your uh, database 19c will be installed in your system okay but i will choose cancel as I, I i have already installed this earlier so i'll exit okay so after doing this you will be successfully installed uh, oracle database 19c in your windows machine so uh, next thing what you need to do next thing you need to uh, download uh, your sql developer so go to your google so sql developer is the tool by which uh, you can you can write the sql and pl sql code okay so just go to google chrome browser and type sql developer there you can find sql developer so click on download sql developer click on this download option So again, you need to log into your Oracle account to download this. But actually, I have already <coughs> I have uh, already downloaded this. So I'll not again download. You can see here I have already downloaded this. So I'll extract this. So it will take some time for extracting. Okay, it has been extracted then open the sql developer here you will find uh, the sql developer click on this sql developer okay uh, so this is the sql developer so you need to check the connection first okay uh, you can see a green plus icon is there just click on this green plus icon and here you need to uh, write your connection name so connection name can be anything so i am uh, 
use connection name as sys uh, then user name will be also as sys so uh, i i want to connect the sys user and password will be the password that you have given while you have set up your oracle database 19c that password you need to give here and uh, choose this role as sysdba because i want to connect the sysdba user and host name will be localhost port will be 1521 and sid will be the sid that you have given while to set up your database 19c uh, this will be generally i we we uh, didn't change this so by default it will be orcl in your case also it will be orcl but the password you have to give the password that you have chosen while set up your database 19c okay now click on test uh, you can see this is success now you can click on connect So once you click on connect you can see we have successfully connected our sys user using sql developer so this is all guys from the next video we will see uh, how to write the sql code using this sql developer thank you so much